Hi everybody, it's Anne Marie from My Scrap Desk and I wanted to give you a sneak peek of a new kit that I'm going to post on my website at www.myscrapdesk.etsy.com and um, this is a yummy yummy kit in um, all different fall colors um, which is my favorite time of year and there's no more beautiful time I think than fall and um, the papers, the yummy pattern papers, are from K and Company's Allegheny Plum Collection. It's kind of funny because I live in Allegheny County in Pennsylvania. Um, but anyway, so I'll just take you through the papers real quick. Here's some a beautiful, um, typical fall scene um, pattern paper. Um, and by the way, these are six by twelve, so this will end up being a six by six kit. Here's a beautiful green and some blue. Some of these are glittered. Some of them are embossed. Like that one is just fantastic. All the beautiful purples and the leaves are embossed. And um, again, a nice different blue. Oh, I don't know if you saw that, um, that embossed butterfly. There he is. <clears throat> oh, gorgeous shades of red and orange and a green. Um, really pretty burgundy again oh the beautiful purple with the leaves and the swirls there's that one that one's not my favorite one <laughs> um, there's that kind of like a maize color I don't, I don't know if you can get that on the screen <clears throat> beautiful again different colors there's a moth this little guy right here He's, he was kind of scary looking at first, but the more that you look at the paper, the actually more beautiful it becomes. And then here's just sort of a orange and uh, darker red honeycomb pattern paper. There, so there are 14 of the six by 12, yeah, six by 12 papers. And um, I'll just move to the ribbon since it's right here. Um, there's about I don't know maybe 18 inches of all these various ribbons. Um, the coordinate with the paper. There's a there's a merlot color, a gold color, dark green. These are all uh, grow grain ribbons. Then there's a um, a nice um, brownish rust color, a really nice I don't know not cornflower blue like a dusty blue, beautiful purple, and some dark blue rickrack. Oops, sorry, forgot this cream color one. Then there, you gotta have some lace in your mini, right? So here's some ivory color lace. Then also some chocolatey brown, pretty simple, you know, lace. And my favorite part of the whole kit, um, some organza. There's three shades of organza. I just love this stuff. I love tearing it up and um, tying it to the rings of my mini albums. Um, so there's a beautiful green. Um, here is a really nice orange. And here is kind of a coppery, bronzy, rusty color. <laughs> um, so there's about 18 inches of each one of those also. Um, those would be so pretty. Um, then you're also going to get eight of the 6x6. Six six, pretty heavyweight chipboard. I don't know if you can see. I mean, it's pretty thick. It's, pre it's really substantial, really uh, sturdy chipboard. So you that would make 18 pa I'm sorry, 16 pages front and back. There's a little postage stamp chipboard frame that pops out. Then there's this little brackety, not quite a top note. I'm not sure exactly what you call it, but um, it's a lighter weight chipboard. I thought that would be pretty to put on the cover. Um, oh, you could cover it with one of the organza covers and then put a title on it. That would be pretty. Then I just threw in, uh, there are four, I think, of these little swirls um, that I thought would be real pretty if you stamped or inked or even embossed them. You can use those on your pages. Um, and then if you remember when we were going through the pages, a lot of them had butterflies that were embossed or whatever on them. So I actually have this little set of, I think there's six. Yeah, there's three butterflies and three dragonflies. Um, I thought those would be nice again if you... Uh, stamp or emboss or paint or glimmer mist those. Then you're also going to get eight, I think there's eight here, eight tags 
These are the seven, seven gypsy tags. Um, on the front of them, I think there's eight different ones. Um, these are journaling tags. You know, um, I actually use these pretty often. I uh, glimmer mist them and I ink them up and you ink them with what, whatever color and you know, it, it works fine. So you get those, you'll get eight of those. And then here's the goodie dish. Um, I'm going to try to go through these real quick. There are these little pom pom -y things. These reminded me of the little, the little what I used to call um, the little jagger things <laughs> that come off of bushes when you're, you know, in the fall. Um, I used to hate those things. But there's eight of the gold and eight of the dark red. You're going to get three of the binding rings. Uh, a bunch of different um, fall colored buttons, purples and oranges and yellows. There's a bunch of those. There's a bunch of uh, probably 10 brads. There's um, eight of the eyelets if you want to put those through the holes on the tags and tie some string through. That's always cute. Uh, there's a couple of tickets. There is a Tim Holtz fragment. Um, I like to stamp those, alcohol ink them. Um, and then there's also some, the bling is different colors of amber color. Um, like there's this one's oval shape. There's some square shapes, rectangle shapes, heart shapes. Uh, there's a bunch of that. And then this is just, you know, the typical bling. Um, different fall shades. And then there are... Uh, I'm not really sure what this material is, but this is a little heavier than vellum. Not quite cardstock. It's like almost, it's heavy wax paper, to be honest. Um, just some cute little uh, fall leaves, autumn leaves, um, in three different shapes. So there's nine of those. And then, last but not least, are the, the flowers that come with the kit. This one, first of all, these are um, quilled flowers. Somebody made these um, and gave them to me. Um, I thought they would be cute. Then we have some Seven Gypsy Velvet flowers. Uh, there's three in the larger white and three in the chocolate brown. Really nice. It's not showing up as chocolatey as it really is. Um, and then because there's some blue pages in the kit, um, there are three of those Seven Gypsy uh, if you could see that blue on them. I actually have used these and I sprayed them with, um, I can't remember what glimmer mist it is, but it ends up it ended up looking really nice. Then there are four of these. These are Prima flowers. I think they're called Fabric Fancies or Fancy Fabric or something like that. Um, there's a little silky one. There's two really deep dark blue, um, almost purple uh, glitter. And then there's a rubbery flower. I don't know. I don't know what kind of flower it is. Then we have three of the Prima large silk flowers that come in that big can. I think these are like extra large hydrangea flowers. Um, it's coming across the camera a really light color, but they're two darker color green and a cream color. And then we have two two of these. Uh, they're not silk, but they're fabric flowers. <clears throat> then I have some more Prima, you know, your typical Primas everybody has. In orange and yellow, there's a purple in the larger size, and then there's three of the smaller size in red. Those are really nice, love those. Then here's just three more fabric-y flowers, different shades of brown and a mustard yellow. And then a grayish green, oops, sorry grayish green. And then there's a little collection of, I think there's nine or ten, um, of the Prima hydrangea flowers in the various shades that go along with the, the papers. So that's the kit. Um, I didn't originally intend for it to be a fall kit, but it sure as heck turned into one, didn't it? <laughs> but, um, so that's it. So check out my Etsy store at www.myscrapdesk.etsy.com. Again, either tonight or first thing tomorrow morning. Um, thanks for looking and have a great night.